Today on Plugin Friday, we're going to look at the vocal thickening trick using a Cubase stock plugin called Cloner. Hey, what's going on? Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, a few years ago, Warren Ewart from Produce Like a Pro did an amazing video, and that was called The Vocal Thickening Trick. And that video went pretty well. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna replicate that technique directly in Cubase Pro using Cloner, which is a stock plugin out of Cubase Pro. Now, uh, Warren on his side used Dubber from Waves, which is a pitch modulation plugin, uh, exactly like Cloner is. Now, if you're not using Cubase Pro and you're using Cubase Artist or Elements, note that Cloner is not available in your version, unfortunately, but, Lucky for you, I already made a video of this technique using nothing but Cubase itself without the use of any plugins. And you can find this video on the Produce Like a Pro YouTube channel. And I'm gonna link the video right here on top. So now let's jump in Cubase and let me show you how to uh, do this technique uh, directly in Cubase Pro. Uh, so first, what we have here, I have the lead vocal on this track and I have four audio stereo tracks. Uh, now, it is important that I use a stereo version of that track because I'm going to use Cloner and I want Cloner to be used in stereo. Uh, so I have my four audio channels and all those four channels are routed into this one, the group channel that I called Doubler. And this one is then routed into my main mix vocal bus. Now, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to copy uh, the events off my main vocal track to those four audio tracks. Okay, Control and Alt. And there you go, you have exact copies. Now that we have everything copied over, I am going to open Cloner to show you what that looks like. Uh, so basically what we have here, uh, we have four different voices. And what Cloner is going to do is to play with the pitch and the delay of the signal. Um, so what I did here, I only activated two voices since on Warren's video, uh, he used Doubler 2, which is a two voice uh, plugin. So I'm actually going to do the same thing on Cloner. So um, voices is set up to two. Uh, now, uh, voice number one is the left side and um, the right side is voice number two. Uh, what I did here, the delay, I, I just kept the, the same uh, the same settings as uh, Warren did uh, on his video. So 9% uh, on the left and 24% delay on the right. Um, so I'm, I won't go above that, you know, just I don't want to hear an actual delay. And if I bring it a bit too close, 1% or 2%, I risk to get some uh, calm filtering effect, which I don't want to. So uh, between 10, 9, 25, I guess that's a good start point. Uh, now, the most important feature here that I need to work on for this technique is the detune setting, okay, that is set up to 6 and minus 6. As far as all the other settings uh, that are down below, I put the uh, detune option to uh, 100% and same for the delay. Now, those will control the overall uh, detune and delay uh, features. Um, and very important for the mix knob to be at 100% wet because you don't want to have any dry signal coming into this plugin. We just want to monitor the effect that cloner will, uh, will apply to the signal. Um, so now, what I did here, the voice one, I just um, uh, brought the pitch higher, okay? So it's a bit more sharp by 6%, and voice two goes down more flat by 6%. Now, on Warren's video, um, I think he used three and minus three, but for me to get the same type of effect with Cloner, I just had to increase the value of those settings. Just to compare, I'm just gonna try the same with Doubler, same settings. So that's pretty close. So those settings are going to be good. Now, as far as the second 
uh, the second channel goes. I'm going to do the same, but this time I will increase the pitch a bit more. Uh, so this time, uh, voice one will be uh, reduced by 12%, so flat by 12%, and voice two, sharp by 12%. Now, if you notice, I switch those around. This time, flat is going to be on voice one and sharp on voice two. So I don't end up with all the flats and sharps on the same side. Then for the third uh, channel, I have them uh, set up to 18 on voice one and minus 18 on voice two. And same for the fourth channel, minus 24 on voice one and 24 on voice two. And that's about it, okay? So that's the only thing uh, that I do. And then everything, like I was saying, is routed into this bus, this uh, group track called Doubler. Now, from this point, I can add some compression and some EQ on this channel. I can do whatever I want or simply just copy all the, uh, the plugins I have on my main channel. Now, this track is already mixed. Uh, so let's have a quick listen to what that sounds like without applying any processing on the doubler effect. Actually, I'm gonna solo the lead vocal and this uh, doubler effect. J'ai tellement attendu que tu reviennes Que tu reprennes ta place et que tu règnes Tu jettes le mal dans les flammes éternelles et ta paix guérit. Now my goal with this is just to, to add enough so uh, the vocal sounds a bit wider, okay? So I don't, I don't want to hear the effect. I don't want to hear the chorus effect because what that will do is by adding some imperfection to the sound like we did with the pitch and the delay, that adds that type of chorus effect that we hear and it will enlarge and bring your sound a bit wider, okay? So this is the effect that I'm looking for. So I don't want to hear that chorus effect, but I just want to get my vocal to sound wider. Okay, let's try that in the context of the mix. Cool. So, you know, this is what it sounds like with the doubler effect. So this is basically the vocal thickening trick. And this is thanks to Mr. Warren Ewart. So don't forget to check the Produce Like a Pro channel. I'm going to leave the link on top and everything down in the description. So there you go, guys. This is it for today. If you have any comments or questions, please leave everything down below. And again, don't forget to share, to like, and to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. All right, I'll see you next time. Ciao.